Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog, and this is the first of two videos where I'll be showing you how to knit a shadow wrapped short row sock heel. Like most sock heels, the shadow wrapped short row heel is worked across half of the stitches of the sock. I'm working my sock from the toe up, and I've divided my stitches evenly around four double pointed needles, but this method can also be used with, toe down, or with leg down socks. So this is the front of my sock, or the top of my sock, with a nice little stitch pattern. And this is the back of my sock, or the bottom, where I'm going to be inserting the heel. And it's just all in stockinette stitch. So to begin our shadow wrapped heel, the first thing you need to do, the first row, you just knit all the stitches across the heel until you get to the last stitch of the row. And then in that last stitch, you do something kind of special. You make what's called a twin stitch. And you'll be able to see here why it's called a twin in just a minute. Yarn split there just a little bit. So you work to one stitch before the end of the heel. Which is right there. And then we need to make our twin stitch. And to make a twin stitch, all we're going to do is we're going to lift up the right leg of the stitch that's just below the next one and we're going to lift that right leg and we're just going to lift it right up onto the left needle tip without twisting the stitch at all and then we're going to knit into that lifted strand and return the knit stitch back to the left needle and you can see that now there's two stitches coming out of the same lower stitch so they're twins of each other so now we need to turn our work and work the next row. And for the next row, you're just going to purl across the row till you get to one stitch before the end of the heel. Like most knitters, when I first learned how to knit socks, I learned how to knit socks with heel flaps. And heel flaps work just fine, but I always found it just kind of fidgety to have to pick up the stitches on the side of the flap. So I started researching other types of methods of making a heel. And the shadow wrap short row heel is probably my favorite method because you don't have to pick up any stitches. You can work the shadow wrap short row heel just while you're working your sock. It's not like an afterthought heel that you knit the whole sock and have to go back. You can do a shadow wrapped heel right while you're working the rest of the sock. There's no gaps at the side of the heel. And really, the shadow wrapped heel just has a nice shape to it. And also, one thing I really like about the shadow wrapped heel is that there's no counting and it's relatively easy to work. So, as I said, we're going to purl across this row until we get to one stitch before the end and then we need to make it a twin stitch. So on the wrong side the twin stitch is just a little bit different. First you have to slip the stitch onto your right needle without twisting it and then you need to lift the left leg of the stitch below and really you can think about it you can just lift that bar that goes across the stitch and lift it up onto your left needle. Then just purl into that lifted strand and return both loops back to your left needle. When you turn it over, you can see just like on the other side, 
Now we have two stitches coming out of the same lower stitch, so they're twins of each other. So I'm going to show you two more rows of the shadow wrapped heel just so that you can see how to work the twin stitches on the right side and the wrong side one more time. So we're just going to knit back across, but this time instead of going all the way to the end, we're going to just knit to one stitch before the twin. And again, you don't necessarily have to count and you don't have to place a stitch marker or anything because you can easily see where the twin stitch is and just stop one stitch before that. And these first few rows of the heel seem like they take forever. But as you work, continue working on the heel, it gets quicker and quicker to get across a row because basically you're working one less stitch per row. So your rows are getting shorter. And again, we're knitting all the way across the row until we get to one stitch before the twin. So there's our twin, and there's one stitch before, and that's where we stopped. So now we need to make another twin stitch. So to do that, just like before, on the right side, you lift up the right leg of the stitch that's just below the one that you're knitting near lift it up onto the left needle. And one thing I sometimes like to do, sometimes I like to put my fingernail right in between the stitch and the lifted strand just to keep them separated because otherwise they can be hard to work. And then just knit into that lifted strand and slip the stitch back onto your left needle. So now we have two twin stitches. So turn the work over. And again, you're going to just work across the heel until you get to one stitch before the twin. So we'll just purl across here. This method is so quick and easy, like I said, and you don't need stitch markers or anything, that I'm finding that more and more often when I knit socks that I use the shadow wrap short row heel. The only time that sometimes maybe I would prefer doing an afterthought heel is if I'm working with yarn with stripes in it so that I don't break up the stripe pattern, then sometimes I'll work an afterthought heel instead. But for the most part, this is my very, very, very favorite technique. So again, we're just going to purl across this row until we get to one stitch before the twin. So there's the twin, there's one stitch before. So to make another twin stitch, you're just going to slip the stitch from your left needle to your right needle without twisting it. You're going to lift up that bar or the left leg that goes over the stitch and then just purl into it and then slip both strands back onto the left needle. And again, when you turn your work over, you can easily see you've got two stitches coming out of that same lower stitch. So now we have two twins on this side. So you would, for the next row, you would just simply knit across until you got to one stitch before the twin, and then make a twin stitch into it. Turn your work, purl across to one stitch before the twin, 
and make a twin into it and then you just keep repeating that back and forth for the number of rows specified in your pattern. And for the pattern I'm working right now, you need to make 11 twin stitches on each side and then there's 10 regular stockinette stitches in the center of the sock. So let me show you on my sample here what that looks like. And I've just divided it out so that you can see the shape a little bit better. I've divided my work here onto three knitting needles. So I have 11 twins on each side and then 10 regular stitches in the center. And this is where I would start the second half of the heel. So I hope you enjoyed learning about shadow wrap short row heels. And I hope you'll join me for the next lesson where we'll finish off knitting the rest of this heel. So until next time, happy knitting.